Greetings travelers, it's Alexander. So I've been playing and streaming Last Epoch a ton recently. Addicted doesn't even cover it. You know how you know a game is good? When you think about it outside of playing it. Checking builds, etc. They recently also managed to hit the 1 million copies sold threshold right before the game even goes live. Yes, it's been in beta for 5 years now, but technically it's not a fully released game yet and still it sold a ton. So anyway, I was thinking, why exactly is this game so much fun and more addictive than a meth trip on Spring Break? On the surface level, it's yet another ARPG which has all the old ingredients of your classic games like Diablo 4, that old fucking mess of a shitty game. And while I was showering and thinking about it, it came to me clearly in a simple yet obvious little detail that's different than in most other games of the kind before. Overpowering your new character like a frenzy madman. See, one thing that pissed me off in any Diablo or PoE or ARPG game is the fact that once I level the character to its max, or at least high level, is that if I want to try another class, I have to start from scratch hitting fucking spiders for 4 damage. Going from just standing there drinking tea while your minions lash out 20k crits to hitting 4 damage with a wooden club just feels so bad. It's almost like sitting at the family table with your in-laws on some birthday or something, when just today a new patch for your current game was released. You just want to get it over over with and start playing the game. For me, many times over, this was the moment where I went to level 5 with no items and nothing and then I just, just closed the game and played something else. With Last Epoch, this is not the case, because of this one little mechanic called the Forge. Now first of all, all your items are actually cross-usable for all characters you have on this account. This is already insane, but of course the items require a level, so you can't use the most overpowered thing right away at level 1, which makes sense. Still, some uniques have very low level requirements or none, so you can give your fancy sweaty farmed items while drinking tea to your new character early, to make it overpowered as fuck and just breeze through these mobs to get along with it. That makes the boring early game much faster and way more fun to actually try and test the other classes. But alas, you can't run the really OP items of course. However, what you can use is the Forge. Through the game you get shards with which you can improve any item, any item you find or buy or start with you. Of course when you start out you don't have much of those shards, but once you've been through the endgame with just one character, you likely sit on thousands of these shards and runes. And yes they are shared between your characters as well. I mean come on Blizzard, are you even trying? This means any damn item you find early game or even the ones you start with you can forge them with extra damage, fire damage, stats boost, resistances and whatnot. This means your character isn't super overpowered in the beginning, but it is very very strong. So it just feels way better and it's much more fun to try and test new classes and go down all the 15 classes and subclasses. Or even try out different skill builds because you know every single skill has its own passive tree. Yes, every single skill in the game, of which there are a lot, has its own passive tree. Many of which also change damage type. Your fireball on your mage can become cold damage. So you can combine different skills in different ways. This creates a gazillion of combinations. No build is like the other and you have unlimited combinations to play and try the game. And there it is, a simple yet powerful detail. Just one little thing that you can create strong gear from level 1 with your new character and actually use the legendary items you found for the other classes because you can use them later. Paired with the fact that there are so many different passive skill trees, you just never run out of ideas to play this game. Yes, the campaign is always the same, but your characters always change, they are always different and a lot different. This is the first ARPG I ever played where I actually planned to play all 15 classes. This is crazy, I never had this one before in any other game. So there it is, Last Epoch is heavily focused on convenience, replayability and fun. Get it? Fun playing the game. And this is why it will be a massive success and many will play it for years. Why you play through Diablo 4 once and then you're bored out of your mind. That's it for today my keyboard warriors. Let's play some Last Epoch. For example by checking out the live tab on my channel because I stream this game a lot. I see you there.